Hey guys, so this video is something different that I have never tried before. I've never done like a video entry, <laughs> like a diary entry or whatever. Um, I always just do a little makeup demo, but um, I hope that you like it. This is just a little story about me and my job history and moving from my hometown in North Carolina to where I live now and stuff like that. So I hope that you like it. If you do, subscribe. Give me a like. Thank you. Vlog. While I get ready. To use. It's really pretty where I live and work. But it's also really expensive. <laughs> This is my little space that I work in. Got so much stuff. This is my car. I don't know what the, what's up with all these birds in the road. I don't know what they're eating. I live in a gated community and the gate breaks down like every single day. <laughs> so it's a pain in the butt. As soon as I come out of my neighborhood, like the actual part of my neighborhood, um, I come out onto the Tarpon Springs sponge docks. So I guess I will tell you just a little bit about me. So I lived in North Carolina for most of my life. I was born there and then I went to uh, Sicily. My dad was in the military and we were stationed overseas for like four years. So I lived in Sicily when I was little and then we moved to Florida. So because the cost of living was so much more, my parents decided to move back to North Carolina. And so that's where I grew up. I graduated in 2003. I didn't start getting into makeup until about 2014. Um, I was doing a weight loss journey and I had lost uh, 60 pounds and I was really excited with the way that my body was looking and my face was looking and I started to feel like even though I was losing weight I was looking older so I got into makeup um I love art I love drawing then so makeup for me was a way to do like a quick drawing because I really do like creating and drawing and um making pretty things I decided to move from North Carolina when I was 23 because I was having a really hard time finding any job where I felt like I could stay there for a long time. Started trying to work at a sub shop, like a rest little restaurant sub shop, and then it worked out and then I started working at a grocery store. Mind you, like, I'm 18 at this time, <laughs> so, <laughs> and so I worked at a fish department at a grocery store. I worked there for a year, I think, and then well, I got my very first, like, grown-up job <laughs> as a teller in a check cashing company. <laughs> I got it. I'm really glad that, I, that my life worked out the way that it did because I feel that if I did not make the decision to quit at that company... I would have stayed with that company for forever. I knew that there was just something more in my life um, that wasn't working at that company for them. And at this point, this is when my relationship with my first husband was like totally going to shit. I was in a like super bad place and all of that fell apart. And when it all fell apart, I lost my job. My husband and I split up. He moved out of our house that we had bought. It took me a little bit to try to get on my feet and I kept starting to get some balls rolling but I wasn't able to 
like really get my feet under me. I, I had four jobs at one time, but still none of them, they didn't, none of them felt right. And, and I just couldn't get my survival factors down. Like I couldn't keep my bills paid. I couldn't find a stable place to live. The place that I was living in after I lost my house that I could not afford, <laughs> um, was like getting broken into and it was just, it was a super bad time. So I decided to move, um, from North Carolina down to Florida and I picked Florida because my grandmother was down here and she said that I could crash with her until I found a place. So I just started picking up my life in Florida and it was, uh, being able to be in an environment where you don't know what's around every corner and you're not re-stimulated all the time from bad memories, that really enables you to grow and start over. Like if you're continuously in the same house or in the same spot where bad things happen to you, it's very hard to pull yourself out of depression. So. I highly recommend if you are in a rut and you just need a change in your life, like just try somewhere new. <laughs> You're not stuck and bound and jailed to your location. So I hope that this let you learn a few things about me. I don't know how much of this is going to be edited and I'm going to try to film throughout the rest of my day. <laughs>